Welcome to our Wilderness Vans installation tutorial. Today we'll show you how to install a Lippert smart bed into your van. Before we begin, we need to highlight a few things about this install. First, please note that the hardware used to secure your bed to your van is up to your discretion. Make sure to use suitable hardware to secure the bed to whatever surface it is attaching to. Second, you should be comfortable working with 12 volt electrical systems before attempting this install. With all that out of the way, let's get started. To start, get your bed and lay it out. We're going to check over a few things before getting it installed inside of the van. First, make sure the straps on the motor shaft are pulled through each guide bracket on the bed. When pulling your straps through the brackets, make sure that each strap is still wrapped around the motor shaft at least two times. Next. Go over to the stabilizer guide brackets on your bed and add on the plastic runners included with your kit. These runners will allow the bracket to follow along the track of the guide rail. Speaking of the guide rails, you'll need to drill two holes into the two rails included in your kit. The holes should be about one inch down from the top of the rail and one inch up from the bottom of the rail. These holes should be large enough to fit the hardware of your choice through it when securing it to your build. With everything on the bed ready, let's set up the four mounting brackets. Seen here, inside of the van. These mounting brackets will secure the bed to the van by clamping down on the bed straps. To get these in place, first we need to get some measurements. Go to the side of your bed with the stabilizer guide brackets and measure the distance from the center of the bed to the center of one of these brackets. Now take that measurement and measuring from the center of the van, use it to find where the center of your mounting bracket needs to sit. Secure it in this location using seven screws of your choice. As you secure the mounting bracket, here are some things to keep in mind. First, while securing these brackets to your build, Make sure to use appropriate hardware that will thoroughly secure these brackets into the material you are installing them into. Second, in some cases, if you have no available mounting points in your build, you may need to position your mounting brackets onto the roof of your vehicle. And lastly, since this is the side of your bed with the stabilizer guide brackets, you'll need to leave enough room vertically for the guide rails to sit underneath of the bracket. Now that your first mounting clip is in place, repeat this process to install the next mounting bracket in line of the second stabilizer guide bracket. Once that's done, go to the other side of your bed and repeat these steps to secure the last two mounting points. On this side of the bed, you won't have to worry about including space for the guide rails. With the mounting points secured in your van, bring the bed into the vehicle and set it down. When placing the bed inside of your van, the bed should sit where you want it to be while it is in its sleeping position. If there is nothing to support your bed with at this time, you may need to use temporary supports to keep it in place like we did for the back of the bed in this video. Now let's secure the bed. Starting on the side of your bed with the stabilizer guide brackets, take your guide rail and slide it along the runners until you reach the base of your mounting bracket at the top of the vehicle. Once the rail is lined up with your mounting bracket, secure the top of the guardrail by installing a screw of your choice into the top hole you drilled earlier. Repeat this process for the other side of the bed. These guide rails will make sure the bed doesn't sway back and forth inside of the van. With the guide rails in position, take your strap and run it along the rail and through the clip on your mounting bracket. An example of how the strap should pass through the clip can be seen here. First, the strap should slide underneath both of the metal plates on the mounting bracket. And then, 
you'll need to run the strap back down between both of the metal plates, like seen in this steel image here. With your strap hold tight, use a 10mm socket to tighten the four bolts on the front plate to secure the strap in place. Now repeat this process for the three remaining straps on the bed. As a note, when pulling your straps through the bracket, make sure that there are still two rotations of the strap around the motor shaft. Once every strap is secured, go to the bottom of the guardrails and secure them in place using a screw of your choice. Your bed is now installed. Before you move on, let's run through some final tests and checks. Hook up a 12 volt battery to your motor and raise the bed. When raising the bed, keep an eye out for the following. Make sure it lifts cleanly and without any strain. And make sure the bed is level. A good way to check the level of your bed is to measure from the corners of your bed down to the floor. Making sure each corner is equal to each other. If they aren't, you'll need to readjust the straps. With everything checked, you can either secure the overhanging straps as you see fit, or remove the excess. But after that, your installation is complete. From here, you can place the included covers over top of your mounting brackets and get started on your bed's electrical work. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe. Check out the rest of our channel and website for additional tips, tricks, and installation guides. Thanks for choosing Wilderness Fans.